Does SEO work in podcasting? If so, how do you optimize your podcast for search engines? In this episode, we'll be continuing our discussion on search engine optimization and we'll talk further about how to optimize a podcast using SEO and how SEO can help you get more audience for your podcast. And don't forget to listen till the end to learn a nice little trick to find new audience with your interview episodes. Welcome to the Podcasting University. Looking for help on starting your own podcast? Then this is the place to be. We will help you with everything from selecting your topic to promoting and monetizing your podcast in the simplest language possible. Listen to other podcasters who've been through the grind and learn from them as we interview them every week. You can find more details on thepodcastinguniversity.com. Hello and welcome to episode 73 of the Podcasting University. This is Dilip, your host, and in this episode, we are going to continue our discussion on podcast SEO that we started in the last episode. Now, in the last episode, we understood the basics of SEO and how it helps in getting your content ranked on Google. We also discussed about how SEO works in the case of podcasts. And if you haven't listened to that episode, then I would recommend that you listen to it first so that you understand what is it that we are talking about in this episode. You'll be able to find the link to the last episode in the show notes. Now on to today's topic, which is how to optimize your podcast for search engines. Once we've identified the keywords that we want to optimize our podcast for, it is time to work on the optimization steps. And that is precisely what we are going to talk about in this episode, because in the last episode, we spoke about how to find keywords that we want to optimize our podcasts for. So let's get started with optimizing your podcast using SEO. Now, from a Textual content perspective, there are a lot of things that you can do in terms of optimization. In fact, there are a lot of things that are involved in optimization. But when it comes to video and audio, the optimization steps are very few. In fact, about three different steps. And it's very simple. While ranking your audio and video on Google means that you're competing against the textual content, which in a way goes through a lot of optimization step, getting your podcast and video ranked on Google can be difficult with only these three simple steps. But then these three steps can be the game changer between your podcast and somebody else's podcast and between your podcast showing up on Google and somebody else's not showing up on Google. So let's quickly get into these steps in detail so that you understand how to go about optimizing your podcast from a search engine perspective. Number one, keywords in title. Now this is one of the most important pieces in keyword optimization. Ensure that the keyword that you have identified for your podcast is there in your podcast title. If you're optimizing your podcast for search engines and it should be there in your episode title if you're optimizing your episode for the search engines. Now one important thing to keep in mind is that Preferably, the keyword should be the first term in the title or closer towards the beginning. Now, for example, if I'm optimizing this particular episode that you're listening to for the term podcast SEO, then the title should be something like podcast SEO, the basics of optimizing your podcast or something like that. So you see how I used podcast SEO as the first term in my title. Now, this is very important from an optimization perspective. But if for some reason you're unable to use it that way, you can use it anywhere in the title, but ensure that you're not using it towards the end of the title. But whatever you do, ensure that you're doing it naturally in the title and not stuffing the keywords into the title. Now, if you're optimizing your podcast title for search engines, then follow the same process and use only about three to four words for your podcast title and ensure that the keyword is embedded in that three to four words. Number two, keywords in description. Now, this is where writing a good podcast description becomes extremely important. You don't need to write a long paragraph, but write a little about what the episode is, maybe in about 200 to 250 words. And that is what I recommend 
in order for your podcast description to be appealing to your listeners. And when you write a podcast description, ensure that you're including the keywords in the description. Ideally, your keyword should appear once in every about 100 odd words. There are a couple of things that you might want to keep in mind when you're doing this. One is that ensure that you're not stuffing the keywords into the description, meaning that you are just inserting the keywords at random places without it making any real sense. Write in such a way that the keywords appear naturally through the conversation or through the write-up in your description. Number two, you can use variants of keywords as well in your content. For example, if I pick the keyword podcast SEO, then a variant of this keyword might be podcasting SEO or podcast search engine optimization or something like that. So pick variants of these keywords and use them in the content that you're writing in the podcast description. Now, like what I said, ensure that you're not stuffing the keywords in the description and writing the keyword description in a way that it appeals to the listeners. So when your listeners read through the description, they need to know that this particular episode is something that they would want to listen to and they should also know what is the value that they are going to get from that particular episode. So spend some time, put a little thought into what you are writing in your podcast description. We're almost five minutes into today's episode and I'm hoping that you are enjoying the conversation until now. If you are, then then please do consider referring this podcast to your friends, your family and your social media circles. Whoever is interested in getting started a podcast, they'll be able to find a lot of value in this show. So do consider referring the Podcasting University to people who you think will benefit from this information. Now, let's continue with the conversation. Number three, keyword in link. Now, this is something that a lot of podcasters ignore, but can play a very important role in getting your podcasts ranked on Google. And I have had first-hand experience of getting some of my episodes ranked on Google by merely including the keywords in the podcast link. Now, your podcast host provides you with an option to create a custom link for every episode that you create. Now, this link is basically the link to a page where the podcast episode is hosted on your host. For example, if you're hosting your podcast on Buzzsprout, then they will give you a custom page where that particular episode lives. And they will give you an option of customizing that link. When you do that, ensure that this link includes your keyword. Also ensure that the link isn't very long and has only about three to four words in it. Now, for example, I host my podcast on Acast. And when Acast gives me an option to customize a link where this particular episode is going to live, I might want to use a keyword like podcasting SEO or podcast SEO, or at the most, maybe one or two additional words there. Like for example, I would want to use something like podcast SEO techniques, which has about three words and has the primary keyword, which is podcast SEO embedded in it. So ensure that you're adding that keyword into that link. Because these links can quickly rank on Google if you use it the right way. And for some of these specific searches on that keyword, your link might show up on Google. Now, that is all that is there to podcast SEO when it comes to optimizing your podcast. But there are some keyword techniques that you might want to keep in mind, which can give you the edge over others who are optimizing their podcast titles or podcast episodes. Keep in mind that SEO is an ever-changing landscape. In order to win against the competition, you will have to think smart and think differently. So these simple techniques are something that you might want to keep in mind when you're researching for your keywords and when you're optimizing your podcast for those specific keywords. Number one, think like your audience. Now, Google is focused on giving a better experience to its users and it is hence that it wants to rank only content that is relevant to what a user is searching for. Now, what you need to understand is that SEO is about optimizing your content in order for Google and its users to feel that your content is important enough. So when you're picking keywords and optimizing your content, ensure that you are thinking like your audience. What are the terms that they might be searching for on Google? What information about that term is it that they are looking for? What variants of those terms are they using to search for information? Now ask yourself these questions 
and then create content that can help the user with these searches by providing them the relevant information. If you are able to do that, Google will easily rank your content on the first page because they think that your content is the most relevant piece for that specific search that a user is doing on Google. So spend some time and think like your audience in order to find the best keywords and to write the best content or best script for your podcast in order for your podcast to show up on Google. Number two, look for questions. Now, people are always looking for answer to their questions. And as a creator, your job is to find those questions and provide answers through your content. If you can find those questions, then you have found the perfect keyword that you can use for your podcast. Now, another important aspect that you might want to keep in mind is that voice searches are gaining prominence. And there are a lot of people who are accepting voice assistance into their lives through their smartphones or through some of these gadgets like Amazon Echo, Google Home and a lot of the other gadgets that are available in the market today. Now, podcasts are going to be on top of the list of search results when it comes to voice searches because podcasts are the best in terms of optimized experience for these users. Hence, it makes sense to optimize your podcast for voice searches as well. And voice searches are always in the form of questions. So when you ask Alexa something, you ask a question to Alexa. So if you can optimize your podcast for questions, then the possibility of your podcast featuring in voice search results is going to be pretty high. And that means you're going to get additional audience for your podcast. Number three, don't ignore the low volume keywords. Now, the usual tendency for anybody who is researching keywords is to go for that high search volume keywords. But that's a wrong strategy to follow. Don't ignore those keywords with a slightly lower volume like around the 100 searches because they can cumulatively add up and provide you a lot of audience. Now, imagine if you could create episode around 10 such keywords with about a search volume of about 100 searches. That adds up to about 1000 searches. Instead of going at a keyword that has 1000 searches and high competition, these low search volume keywords that are low on competition can help you get almost the same number of listeners but with lesser effort in comparison to that 1000 searches. So don't ignore those low volume keywords. Now, it is at this point that I need to emphasize the importance of a website because that is something that a lot of podcasters often ignore. In fact, podcasters like Pat Flynn, John Lee Dumas, Amy Porterfield, Jenna Ketcher, all of them have something in common and that is a website. The importance of a website for a podcast is often undervalued, but these top podcasters show us that a website is extremely important for a podcast. Now, a website is a must for your podcast for three primary reasons. One it helps in search engine optimization. Now, we had discussed this in the last episode. Search engines like Google easily rank textual content. So if you can put together a post for every one of your episodes and write maybe a good show note and optimize it using those keywords, then you can easily get it ranked on Google. And when this piece of article ranks on Google, your podcast also ranks on Google and you get additional audience. Number two, a website can help you build credibility and authority. It can help you position yourself as an expert. You can display your testimonials and other forms of social proofs, which will help you build your trustworthiness and the confidence that your listeners will have on you. Number three, your website can help sell your products and services. You can easily use your website to sell your products and services by showcasing it to your audience and also positioning the USP of every one of those products and services. Now, I always recommend adding a transcription to your show notes for all of the interviews that you do because these transcriptions also help your content get ranked on search engines and in that way, help your podcast get ranked on search engines. Hence, a website is extremely important don't ignore the importance of having a website for your podcast. Finally, onto the trick that I spoke about. Now, this is something that I've tried and I've got excellent results with, especially with interview episodes. So if you're interviewing an expert in your field or maybe a well-known personality, then this is something that you might want to do. What you won't want to do is to optimize that specific episode for the keyword 
interview with the name of the expert. Now, for example, if you are interviewing Pat Flynn on your show, then optimize the episode for the keyword interview with Pat Flynn. Then upload this episode to YouTube as well and link back to your podcast episode. Now, here is how it will help. Now, people often search with this keyword, especially for high profile guests, like for example, for Pat Flynn. But these keywords don't show up in search tools because it is a low volume keyword. But the truth is that the volume can be considerable if the podcast guest is an expert in his field. So I optimized two of my episodes for similar keywords. The first one got us about 800 new subscribers on YouTube, who I then channeled to my podcast and they became subscribers for my podcast. And the second one got me about 900 listens in a span of 30 days. Only two episodes getting me so many different listeners. It works, so I would recommend that you go and try it out. I hope you enjoyed the information that I shared in this episode today. That is all that I have for this episode. And if you are looking for further information, then you might want to visit the podcastinguniversity.com where you will find the show notes, the resources that I spoke about and the printable transcript for this episode. If you have any questions around podcasting or around podcast SEO, you might want to drop your questions in the comment section on the podcastinguniversity.com. I will respond to all of those questions there or you can even use the contact us button there and write to me and I'll respond to those questions. The Podcasting University is available on pretty much all podcasting platforms including Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts and Stitcher. You will also be able to find the Podcasting University on Amazon Prime Music, Geo Savan and Ghana. Pick your favorite platform and give it a listen in there. And if you have any questions, do reach out to me on my blog at thepodcastinguniversity.com or you can also reach out to me on Instagram at Podcasting University. That is all that I have for this episode. Don't forget to visit thepodcastinguniversity.com to join the free 10-day course on how to start a podcast. That's the best course best free course that you'll be able to find online on getting started with your podcast. I'll be back again the next week with another discussion around podcasts. Until then, keep listening to the Podcasting University and you all have a wonderful rest of the week.